Hello, my dedicated viewers. I would like to welcome you to the program, Agriculture on the Move. My name, Philip Sidney, your host. Today with me is Mr. Cletus Alexander, who is our Crop Protection Officer in the Crop Research Division, in, attached to the Ministry of Agriculture. He is not new to this program. He has been here many, many times. He is well versed in our discussion today. And of course, we are looking at Pesticide Awareness Week. Welcome to the program, sir. Thanks for having me on the program, Mr. Sidney. I know, I know you, you've been very, very articulate um, in times past because you, you, are, you are, I must say, the master when it comes to, 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 to pesticides and to give information out to the public. But every year we are having, you know, um, Pesticide Week, which is an, an awareness program. Why an awareness program? Why every year and why a whole week? Well, to begin with, um, this week, the Pesticide and Toxic Chemical Control Board, in collaboration with other pesticide boards of the Caribbean, we celebrating Pesticide Awareness Week. And the chosen theme for Pesticide Awareness Week is choose, use alternatives to toxic household agricultural pesticides for a better life and environment, our actions are our future. Yep. Well, as we all know, pesticides, they are critical inputs in agricultural production. There are lots of benefits from pesticide use, but there are lots of these benefits as well. Mm -hmm. And to make it worse, we have a, a problem with the indiscriminate use of, of pesticides. So we need to make persons out there aware of, yes, the benefits, the disbenefits, and how they can improve in terms of pesticide management in St. Lucia. So that's the reason for this very important theme. Alternatives, yes, we've been using pesticides for, for a long time, but what we have to understand is this. Probably 50, 60 years ago, pesticides to persons who are not using pesticides. And the pesticide, basically the, the, the growth of the, those toxic pesticides in agriculture, in the households, as public health pesticides, basically started, as I said before, this, from the Second World War. So we need to make persons, as I said, aware of, of, of those things. So this week we're having Pesticide Awareness Week. We're hoping that as many persons as possible Though um, we, we, we know COVID-19 is around, but we online, we're having more online dissemination of the information. So we're expecting that by disseminating the information to key persons like the extension officers and so on, key other key persons in society, the, 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 the information will spread to other persons out there. I, re I recognize the, 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 the starting of the theme. It's also the same theme with World Food Day, our actions, our future. Uh, so it's an, is it an, F, it's an FAO initiative? Uh, basically, as I said, it's in collaboration with the CGPC. But FAO, we also working under the umbrella of the FAO as well. Okay. FAO, CAFSA, and so on. So okay. it may be possible that yeah. that's how it is. Yeah, it was this year's theme is captured under this with, of course, other um, areas below it. But over the years, when you have had uh, a week of pesticide awareness, do you all go back and evaluate and to realize what the impact that education, that awareness has brought about? Well, yes, because awareness is about change, making persons aware, building capacity and so on. No matter, yes, I'm saying it would have been ideal to have as, as probably many persons as possible, but to, to us, the persons promoting 
to me, the more the merrier. So we're looking at every year for the growth of, of, of this activity. And we've been seeing posi positive benefits in terms of more persons being aware of the of, of pesticides out in the environment, in the households and so on. So what are the, the program really for the week? I mean, do you have a specified, I know COVID has prevented you from doing a lot, but do you, in, the light, of, in light of that, what are the programs? Well, we have the, the your show, Agriculture on the Move, because we, we believe, well, many persons out there are watching Agriculture on the Move. And we have more online dissemination of the information. We have lots of information like videos, brochures and so on that we're disseminating online mm -hmm. because that is the way to go because the face-to-face -face interaction is basically for the time being a no-no. Mm -hmm. And who are your target audience out there? Ah, pesticide is everybody's business. <laughs> Although we use pesticides as agricultural inputs. We use pesticides at our homes. We use pesticides in the hotels. We use pesticides everywhere. So it's everybody's business, the, the, that issue of pesticide use. Yeah, but you, are you all, uh, th throughout the year, um, I'm hoping the week of awareness is not the only activity or activities that you have to bring to the fore in terms of awareness. What do you all, ha you all have throughout the year to actually educate the people out there who are using pesticides? The right way to use it, the wrong way to use it. Well, the department, the research department, on a continuous basis, we have capacity building programs with the farmers on pesticide use and safety. That is basically it. We go on all the different regions. We have group discussions with, 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 with the farmers and, and, and so on. I know schools are not in operation, but when the schools were uh, in operation, do you all actually take it to the schools too, to educate the young ones so that they too can sensitize the parents and farmers yes because the i know for sure about two years ago the, the the environmental health division because they are represented on the pesticides and toxic chemical control board i know they had a program on, on, on some rat trap competition these are some other activities you can introduce to the schools and um, that program was basically teaching people about the ipm integrated Pest management, management because yeah. everybody to con they were controlling rodents using the pesticides the, the, the clay rats and so on mm -hmm. but if you use an integrated approach where you clean the area and you do certain things it means that the, the rat population will be at a population where there is there will be no need for those toxic pesticides that we are, we are seeing out there mm -hmm. so, so in other words you're looking at alternative use of yes, the that harsh uh, chemicals. Yes, basically the theme is saying the, choose, use the alternatives because there are alternatives available to some of the, the, the toxic pesticides. That and are you referring to the organic chem chemicals? Um, yes, some some are organic, but some some of the you think for example the the charcoal that we use out there, mm -hmm. you can do what is called biochar, and that that can control certain pesticides. You can use your, your little garlic. Now, to you can blend the garlic, it can act as a repellent. Right. You, can, you can use what is called pyrifrids. They, 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 they are plants that will repel certain insects for you. Right. So we're looking at the alternatives. But the, the, the problem with alternatives, that is something new. Persons just start to research about the alternatives. So we need to do some evaluation of the alternatives as well. But do, do, do you have alternatives now on the market so that the farmers can use? Yeah, there are quite a lot of alternatives. Persons now are registering a lot of alternative pesticides. We have a number of alternative pesticides on the approved pesticide list for St. Lucia. Okay, so now to get those uh, chemicals registered, you mentioned about the, 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 the you are registrar on the board. Yes. Okay, I'm tell us the function of that board. Well, basically, the pesticide board is the regulator of pesticide in St. Lucia. You the board is responsible for pesticide registration. The board is responsible for issuing the import permits to th those persons who want to import. The board is responsible for monitoring of those pesticides. The board is, because you have to, to, to ha have an idea as to those persons, whether they are complying with um, the, the, the Pesticide Act. 
So we, we do continuous monitoring to, especially the agri shops, to find out whether some of the pesticides they, that are on the shelves, whether they are registered or not. So the board, it, it, it's not a board who deal with the entire life cycle management of the pesticide. I would have liked to see the board dealing with pesticide from registration to disposal. So basically the board deals with importation and registration, but not disposal of pesticides in the environment. Supposing there is a chemical um, that you all allow to be used, um, and over time you realize that, you know, they found out there are problems with it, okay? Um, I know there are chemicals that are banned over in some of the other um, countries, and we are still using them, right? Can you explain this? Well, basically, a pesticide can be banned in, in, in England, just an example, or Australia, and we still have it on the, on, on the approved pesticide. These are different conditions. Okay. But by right, after the pesticide is registered, at registration, you register the pesticide based on the information that is available. Right. But as you know, we have smart scientists out there, better tools, so they are able to do further assessments of, of the pesticide. And it's the duty of the pesticide board to recommend, in case the pesticide board cannot ban a pesticide, you can recommend to the minister for banning of a pesticide. But we've done this before, it has worked. So we're hoping that the pesticides that we have on the list, after further review, they are not as dangerous as some of the pesticides that we have not registered on the list. Okay. But if there, there's a chemical that definitely you all ban, okay, how you all get the, the, well, the, the distributors to uh, take it off the shelves? And when that is taken off the shelf, how is it being dis disposed? Well, that's the issue, disposal. Um, after, as I said, it's the minister that can ban the, the, the pesticide. Right, so fine. if you decide to, 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 to ban a pesticide, first of all, you will stop the importation of the pesticide. Great. All import permits will, dis will, will cease from, from, from this thing, will not write any import permit for, for such pesticide. Now, when this is done, you have to write to all the, the agribusiness shops to make sure that that pesticide is not on the shelf. Right. Also, it will not make any sense that you ban a pesticide in St. Lucia and products coming from overseas are treated with that pesticide. It means the products coming into the country treated with that pesticide will also be banned. It will not, it will not be allowed in oh, the country okay. because it's banned in St. Lucia. So how do, you all, how do you all do a surveillance on that? Well, that is the big issue. Right now, present as we speak, I know we've hired a research um, analytical chemist at our department and she's looking into this thing to do monitoring of the, the, the pesticides out there too. Make sure that the MRL, because, because after you use a pesticide, sometimes the residue, when you take that pesticide to mark that product, the product, sorry, to market, it means you may have some residues, pesticide residue mm -hmm. on that. So we have persons now who can be test, do off and on check, go to the market and different places and check the MRL on these, on these products. Well said. We are due for our first break. You are watching Agriculture on the Move. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon. For effective chemical treatment of black cigar toka, practice routine preventative maintenance of all tools and equipment, especially the mist blower, to ensure proper functioning. Clean sprayer after use and service the machine regularly as recommended by the manufacturer. Whenever you are using pesticides to control black cigar toka disease, personal protection and safety measures must be followed. Spray operators must always wear proper protective gear. Before or when handling pesticides, put on your overalls, respirator, goggles, boots, and gloves to avoid contact with the skin, inhalation, and ingestion of pesticides. For more information on how to treat and control Black Sigatoga on your farm or in your backyard garden, Contact the Black Sigatoga Management Unit at 451-5491, 451-5894, or email bpmu at candw.lc. This message is brought to you by the Ministry of Agriculture in collaboration 
with the International Cooperation and Development Fund of the Republic of China on Taiwan. Welcome back to the program, Agriculture on the Move. With me, Mr. Kitas Alexander, who is our crop protection officer, and he's also the registrar of pesticides here in St. Lucia. My concern, I'm sure people are asking the question, Kitas, what is happening to a chemical that you is banned and uh, it is still they are still in containers how are you going to dispose of that chemical for uh, for it, this chemical not to be used in the future okay in St. Lucia and probably the, the, the Caribbean you don't have the facilities to destroy the chemicals so last the last time this we had a problem with this it was through the intervention of the FAO who were able to package um, those chemicals, those obsolete chemicals, and ship to somewhere in Europe for, 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 for destruction. But again, if you, as a, as a registrar, you know well, you have a problem with a, with a, with a pesticide. You take the, the phase out approach, where you try to phase out, gradually phase out the chemical. And you, when you believe well, you, you, you have sufficient information when you believe well the stock is very low you you you, you put the ban on the chemical so that that chemical you're going to collect all the chem chemical and store the chemical in one location so that when a project like as i said like the feo uh, uh, when the feo have a project on pesticide disposal they will take those pesticides to some site in, in europe or some other place for destruction yeah but why 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 of a phase of approach in the sense that if they recognize that that chemical um, is toxic to, to, to humans and they know probably the, the negative results that it has, um, why not take it off the shelf one time? Why, uh, why have a phased approach? Well, let's say that way. All pesticides are dangerous. Correct. To, to, mm -hmm. to, to human health. So as a, it's, when the information becomes available, that is the time you're going to take the decision against that particular pesticide. Okay. As I said, what as a, at a board level, what what you can do is present the case to the minister, and the minister will take the decision. That is the law in Central. The pesticide board. Take for example, last year we had a problem with chlorpyrifos in the bananas. Remember, we had a problem where yes. a number of shipments were, were, were rejected. rejected. Right. And it took us about two months to take that particular decision. To, but they were still using using it? Well, they had no choice, but they, they could not use it because had they done so, the, the bananas would be rejected, rejected in, in Europe and the, 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 the market had already taken the decision that if they continued, that, that would have been it for bananas. So right. they had no choice than to stop. Mm -hmm. but now let's assume, well, it was something you had to do immediately. Take an example, it was a very toxic pesticide that we decided, well, we would have remove that pesticide from the market immediately and we don't have the facilities to destroy the, 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 these pesticides. That's the problem with us. Pesticide, the problem with pesticide in St. Lucia, the Caribbean and the world and some other countries is that, yes, we're using the pesticide, but you don't have the facilities to, de to destroy the pesticide. If mm -hmm. something happens, it means that pesticide will have a, a problem in destroying the pesticide. Where are you going to store the pesticide? You cannot dispose the pes some of the pesticides that we have. The, the, the normal garbage truck, the Solid Waste Ma Management Authority, I don't think it's, they will collect pesticides and, and take, it, take, yeah. it, take it to the Because it's very dangerous yeah, to the for, 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 for disposing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in, over the years, um, you all have been having demonstrations with the farmers for the safe use of pesticides, the PPEs, etc. Going out there, do you all still see that farmers and farmers, farm workers are still not stricken, uh, adhering to the procedures? Well, to me, that is one of the, 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 the sorry stories of pesticide use in St. Lucia. When you go out there and you see in 2021, having done so many programs on pesticide use over the years, all the, the, the data is on the, on the, on the pesticide label. When you see persons now in 2021 applying pesticides without gloves, without boots, without the necessary protective clothing, 
So you, I just think myself whether all the programs that we've been having, so it's whether it's, it's making any sense. <laughs> but it's making sense because some persons are, yes, are, are getting yes, the information. Yes, that that yes, is the point. You point, can take yeah. the donkey to the water, but you're going to force drink. the donkey mm -hmm. to drink. Mm -hmm. that, that is the, mm -hmm. the point mm -hmm. I'm making. Mm -hmm. So it's very sad to see persons. Now, even this bottle, I, about two months ago, I see a lady applying Dramaxone with one of those bottles. Just puncture a few holes in the, in the, in the, yes, in in the, the cover, mm -hmm. and then the lady had the, had the, had the. I wonder what's happening <laughs> to, to, uh, to us in the Wow. Indiscriminate wow. pesticide use. Right. That is a major concern as somebody who is involved in the risk assessment of, 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 of some of these pesticides. But ap ap apart from, from, from okay, the um, occasional persons committing suicide by maybe drinking, but um, are you all hearing of the indiscriminate use of the pesticide without PPEs, people are going to the hospitals and they're getting sick? Well, it's happening because sometimes you use the pesticide, you feel dizzy. Persons say, well, probably just a slight headache. It's the impact of the pesticide. Sometimes right. you, you go, go, go in, the, in the, some of the markets in the world, you consume some of the vegetables after you have a belly ache and so on. Yes, that is pesticide poisoning. Mm -hmm. Persons are not aware of those things, mm -hmm. but it's happening. The merchants that are selling pesticides, um, are they mandatory to uh, sell PPEs? Well, by, um, on the Pesticide Act, it's not man, man, man mandatory to sell. But as the registrar, you can refuse the registration of a pesticide if you think the necessary protective equipment is not available out there. If you at registration, you can do that. You can also recall a pesticide if you believe, if you have enough information to believe that, yes, persons are using the pesticide, but it's a danger to them. The level of exposure is so high and the, 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 the protective equipment that is required is not available in St. Lucia. You can withdraw a pesticide. But generally, apart from um, being specific to a pesticide, but generally, do you all have or do you all ensure that the uh, merchants that are selling those, the pesticides are equipped in selling the PPEs? Well, no, for now at the board we have not. Although it's but but, but do, you, do, you, do you think that is yes. a serious... Yes, as I said, it's, 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 a, it's a very serious problem. Mm -hmm. Before you apply pesticide, you must have all the mitigative measures in place, like your protective equipment, your, your equipment is properly calibrated, and persons don't, don't look at these things. Even the, the weather condition is also important when, mm -hmm. when you are applying the, the, the pesticide. Exactly, exactly. So we have lots of work to do still. But where, where do we go with antidotes? Do, um, if a, a pesticide is registered, after you have done all the, the, the research on uh, the background on that pesticide, um, is there an antidote for each pesticide that's being produced? Um, because what happens if, if the pesticide is this? In the pesticide, you have the active ingredient. Mm -hmm. That is uh, what, what is going to deliver. That is what is going to control the, 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 the insect, for you, or insect or whatever pest you're trying to control. And there is what is called the inert ingredient. Right. Now, that is where the problem is. The secret, the tra trade secret, a manufacturer will not tell you what is the inert ingredient in a pesticide. Mm -hmm. Because they believe, as I say, it's, it's a trade secret. Somebody can go ahead and, and use that secret to do their own pesticide. Okay. So that is an issue for us. Now, by the, the, the approach is this. If you, after using a pesticide, something happened to you, if the doctor, if you, if you, you, you go to the hospital, the doctor will ask for the dossier on that particular pesticide. If there is mass poisoning of a particular pesticide, emergency persons, they're going to ask for what is called the dossier that at registration, every pesticide, you have to, the, the, the registrant, you, you have to present a dossier to the, to the registrar so that you can review, check the ecological hazard, hazards on human health, on animal health, on the environment, uh, and so on. Mm. That is critical. That is a critical document that is accompanied at registration. That is what the doctors, mm -hmm. and that is where they're going to get all the emergency measures to prevent harm. But, but is, is there, for example, I remember some years ago um, when Gramoxone um, came to the, to the fore, um, people, you know, people were drinking Gramoxone, I mean, <laughs> commit suicide. 
And um, one of the things apparently they sued the company and because they did not have an antidote for, for it at the time. I mean, they had f what is called fuller earth. Right, yeah, the, they, came, they, they, they call it soil, which, which is soil really, yeah, that soil. They, they coated, right, which is, which is um, clay, clay, clay soil, yeah. right, because you know, once again, gramoxone is contact, it's not a systemic. So when it hits the soil, it's, it's non-reactive. That's why it can be, yeah. It's so, so, the, so, so then they, use, they, they can use soil. In other words, one of the things that we tell people, if somebody in your, in your immediate area or immediate vicinity would drink Ramoxone, the best thing to do is to get soil immediately and with water, mix it up, and another person drink, to drink it. Because there, there is some, what they call it, some cation yeah. exchange capacity, yeah, it will, and then and it will yeah, nullify exactly. yeah, the, the, the effect. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So um, for Gramoxone, we know there is soil. But with it's, it's, it has, <laughs> they have pellets, pellets, eh? They have it in pellet form. No, we will not advise that person to try this. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I was told. Right. Okay, based on, on, because the whole idea is you're trying, because once you drink Gramoxone, immediately if you do not get, yeah. you know, something to, to, to nullify this thing or that's neutralize it, the person will die. That's it for you, yeah. yeah exactly. Exactly. So something uh, that is why they have the antidote. They call it soil, right? Which is soil, really soil that is coated, so you, you can take it, take it in. So that, I was asking the same question with other chemicals, where other chemicals have some sort of antidote, right? In order, if per, per, per chance you inhale it, mm. you you it falls in your mouth or whatever the case may be, something immediately on site yeah. should be able to assist before that person is taken to hospital. Yes, and I said. Several of the pesticides you have antidote, but it will be indicated on the dossier. On the dossier, yeah, all on right. The, on the pesticide okay. dossier, all on right. The, especially on the MSDS sheet. Okay, that is where you're going to find it. Let's look at household use of aerosol um, spraying for mosquitoes. Um, you know, I mean, when I was young, I, honestly, I never took this in consideration. I mean, some some of the aerosol they smell nice, <laughs> so you 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 spray and you stay in it in 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 the room where it is sprayed. Now, I mean, growing up, then I got to know, of course, the hazardous, how hazardous this thing is. So what do you all have in place to educate those persons out there? Um, again, we advise that before you use any pesticide, you should read the pesticide label. That right. is very, very important. Right. You should not buy any pesticide if it does not have a pesticide label. So before you apply the pesticide, you will read the pesticide label. There you will know um, how long the pesticide will, after spraying the pesticide, how long it's going to stay, in, if you live in a house, how long the pesticide is going to stay in the house, mm -hmm. how long, what, what, are, what, what are some of the measures that you can take to reduce the impact of the pesticide on you. Right. That, will, that, that is very important. You will get that on the, on the pesticide label. Okay. But as I said, the issue for us, I repeat, is with indiscriminate pesticide use. It's like the police. You cannot police everyone in St. Lucia. The information is there. What I would encourage persons to do is read the label and use the pesticide according to what's on the label. As we're about to end, do you have any final words to the public? Well, as I said, it's before it's pesticide awareness week. A lot of persons now, they have a phobia for pesticides. Now, Pesticide use, you can get a lot of benefits from pesticide use. And as I said earlier, when we started, there are lots of these benefits from pesticide use. Right, right. Impact on human health, impact on the environment, impact on the soil, and, and, and so on. Mm -hmm. But it's very important that you, you follow advice. If you're not sure about a pesticide, you should call an agricultural officer or somebody with some knowledge on pesticide use before you apply the pesticide. Mm -hmm. Because as I said, we are killing ourselves slowly, but we're not recognizing. recognizing Especially the farmers who decide that they, they, they want to add more to the pesticide, you know, in terms of the, of the read. That's a problem. Anyway, we have come to the <laughs> end of the, of the program. Thank you for being here, Mr. Alexander. And I wish you success and, of course, continue to educate the populace as to the indiscriminate use of pesticides. Well, Thank a, you again. It was a pleasure being here. All right. And I will come back as soon. Definitely <laughs> you'll be. <laughs> you have been watching Agriculture on the Move. Thank you for viewing. Remember, this, this program is very interested, interesting because pesticides, pesticides are dangerous, very, very dangerous. So if they're not used properly, then we will suffer the consequences. Anyway, 
Stay tuned. We'll be back again with another program of Arigat on the Move. Eat fresh. St. Lucia's best. I'm Philip Sidney. Goodbye. Agriculture on the move. 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 Agriculture on the move.